Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today I wanted to show you a new holster that I got. Um, and to be clear, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I don't work for this company or nothing like that. They just sent me this holster and I wanted to check it out because it was low cost and see if it was just any count and share it with y'all. As tight as money is right now, we can all save a dollar. So uh, let me bring you in here. I haven't even took it out of the bag yet. It's for a 1911. And uh, let's open it up and check it out and just see how well the 1911 fits and all in there and just tell you a little bit what I think about it. All right. Of course, we got a nice little plastic bag here. And uh, the company I got this from uh, called K Tactical. Yeah, they sent some of these... Uh, Velcro things, you'll see, I put one on my bag, I thought that was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, gently open the bag, and see what we got here. Right, there's is a Allen wrench in here, and that Allen wrench that they supply with it, that do all your fittings. So if you need to tighten up something or move something or what have you, you can do so. Right off the bat, this is a basic uh, Kydex holster. Uh, I don't know what that is on the inside. It's kind of paint or lining, but it's really smooth. And the red does give it a flare. Uh, it has a uh, belt clip type. Well, that's pretty neat. Push the two little buttons. Hope y'all can see that good. I don't know about the light in there. Two little buttons right there. One there and one there. And if you push them, yeah, it opens right up. So easy on and off. You don't have to take your belt off. Now, I do like that. Uh, my current holster that I'm carrying my 45 in has that feature. And uh, that to me is pretty cool. Now, does it fit the gun properly and hold it good? Well, I brought out a good 1911. It's my Rock Island in 10 millimeter. Yeah, baby. This thing's a real shooter. Let's see how she fits. Oh, yeah, good retention. Yeah, I'm holding my hand underneath that. I don't want to break the glass. Yeah, I can wiggle it out if I sit there and fiddle with it long enough. But, yeah, still pretty stout as far as holding it. Now, guys, let me say, and uh, this is just me being honest, I do like these retention-style holsters in a way uh, for use at the range or for a firearm that I really don't carry or anything like that. Now, when I'm carrying out in the general public, I always used to use a holster with a button lock on it. Preferably one that's hidden and not seen just for the, you know, ultimate safety. For someone to come up and try to, you know, take your own sidearm, then that for me is very important. But this is a lot more expensive holster too. Uh, these things here running like, uh, was it 30 bucks? So, for 30 bucks, I mean, it's a good looking holster. I love the way the belt clip works. I like the lining on the inside. The firearm does fit well. And, like I say, I can get that a little tighter right there by just tightening this and uh, make it where it's got a lot more drag to it. But, yeah, not too bad. I mean, especially for the cost. Let me uh, throw it on and just see how it feels as far as wearing it and how the gun comes in and out. Let's say I do like that. Push the two buttons and clip. Go in your belt here. And for those of y'all asking, yes, this is still that 
same core as belt and uh, I've been wearing it and it has been a good one so that's another one of them things that was sent to me that I highly recommend and that fits on there, boy it fits snug too, no slide around uh, especially on this belt now well, it fits in there good it's at a pretty good height if I had a long shirt on, I could actually cover this up, except for, the, you know, it's going to print, that's for sure. But, the holster does sit up a little bit on the high side, which does make it pretty comfortable. Yeah, draws good. Yeah, no problem. Well, guys, not a bad little holster, uh, especially for, like I say, 30 bucks. That's hard to beat. Do like that easy on and off about it. And as you see, that one's easy on and off too. But, like I say, guys, in finishing up for the money, you know, this is not a bad deal. I'm glad they sent it to me and I had a chance to look at it. And uh, I'm definitely going to use it for my 1911 when I'm out at the range or just uh, walking around the property out here or what have you. This is a great little holster. It fits well, enough tension, that far off is not going to fall out of there. And I mean, as far as uh, appearance stuff goes, the red just adds a cool little splash to it. And uh, yeah, I mean, in my opinion, good bang for the buck. Well, everyone, appreciate you watching. I uh, hope you like that. Like I say, just a quick little video uh, to show you what I think about this K-Tactical holster setup. You know, if you're looking for something uh, low cost, or say 30 bucks, hard to beat, you know, check them out and see what you think. Again, appreciate you watching. Uh, if y'all would, thumb me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.